Soap opera actress Judy Evans is revealing her COVID-19 crisis. Do something! The Days of Our Lives star was rushed to the hospital more than three weeks ago after she fell off a horse and broke her collarbone and seven ribs. But while she was being treated for her injuries, she says she contracted COVID-19. I tested positive. Being stricken with the virus complicated the treatment for her horse riding injuries. My legs swole, got very swollen, like three times their size. And, uh, you know, they give you worst case scenario. You know, we may have to amputate. And I'm like, please don't take my legs. Please don't take my legs. The 55-year-old actress, who's a daytime oh, Emmy winner, tells Anne Mercogliano surgeons remove large clots from both legs. Justice. Meanwhile, authorities have a warning for those who attended that massive protest in Los Angeles that jammed Hollywood Boulevard over the weekend. LA's top public health official says anyone who's been at a protest and come in close contact with people not wearing masks should get a COVID test and self-quarantine for 14 days. That presumably includes Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez, who were front and center at the march. A new study says wearing eye coverings like goggles, face shields, and protective glasses can reduce your risk of COVID-19 threefold. Many viral particles that, in the, or, that are in the air enter through mucous membranes, like the nose and the mouth. But there's also a small percentage that can enter through the mucous membranes in the eyes. That's why by wearing certain protection, like goggles or a face shield, can reduce that risk. COVID cases in 20 states are rising. In Arizona, where stay-at-home orders were recently lifted, hospitals have been told to fully activate emergency plans. Texas, which recently relaxed social distancing restrictions, is also reporting a spike.